Have you come across any toxic players? Check out. Hi. I'm here today to bring you the most important tech news that you need to know. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly, then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this news every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up, dealing with toxic users is nothing new for Bisoft and Riot Games. Fortunately, both companies have joined forces for Zero Harm and Comms, a research partnership intended to combat bad behavior online. The AI software will work by taking chat logs across Ubisoft and Riot's array of games and removing any cases of sensitive information before being labeled according to the behavior displayed. All of this data will be gathered to better prepare AI bots to spot players who flout community guidelines. That means a safer environment for women to game. News Source Tech Radar, Polymorphic Textile Comes to Life Montreal-based fashion designer Ying Gao returns with new robotic garments, this time looking to the world of NFTs and the metaverse for inspiration. Seemingly pulsating and twisting like floral beings, her latest attires combine glass, precious metals, and silicone into a polymorphic material that simulates the effects of virtual clothing. As for the project title, 2526, refers to the number of hours invested in the creation of the two polymorphic garments, from ideation to the finish, from the first line of drawing to the last stitch. The twisting and undulating motions were simulated to perfection by robotics specialist Simon LaRoche. News Source, Design Boom, A Million Dollar Deal Chinese e-commerce solutions provider Baozun will acquire the rights to Gap's Greater China business for an undisclosed price. The deal, which will last a maximum of 20 years, will give Baozun exclusive rights to sell Gap products. Before the acquisition, the two companies had been working together since 2018 Baozun's customer base includes Nike, Calvin Klein, and Zara. In 2020, Gap launched a review to streamline its operations and transition to an asset light, cost-effective model. In July 2021, Gap said it would shut down its 81 brick-and-mortar locations in the UK and Ireland and limit its presence in the region to e-commerce. News source, Retail Dive, it's possible to cut greenhouse gas emissions by looking at how you get to a store, the shipping rate you opt for and how frequently you return things. But will people really take the time to do that? Online and in-store shopping both involve transportation that can produce climate warming emissions. Research suggests that ordering online can have a smaller carbon footprint than in-person shopping for the same reason that public transportation is often better for the environment than cars. Shah Mohammadi recommends bundling orders instead of receiving separate deliveries. Ideally, he says, try to buy multiple items from the same supplier so that it reduces your footprint per delivery. News Source, Washington Post, more and more people are supporting zero-waste fashion. Japanese sportswear manufacturing company Goldwind has partnered with Synflux, a speculative fashion laboratory, to develop an algorithmic system aiming for zero fabric waste. Syngrid, the collaboration makes use of Synflux's proprietary technology, Algorithmic Couture, that minimizes textile waste being discarded during clothing production by one-third. The software is a mashup of machine learning and 3D technology. It analyzes the 3D data of the clothes that we want to design and suggests the way of manufacturing with the least waste while also maintaining the sportswear's original functionality, comfort, and beauty. News Source, Design Boom, and that's it for today. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week, check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360fashion.net slash podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode.